Hey there everyone, I'm Polkifanoite, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time, the Hammers of Justice joined our party again. Or King Gar, if you will. <laughs> He's a king. <laughs> uh, and today, we are gonna go back to the Senegal continent, and we are, first of all, gonna get Rudy back. And then we're gonna talk to the stupid, stupid king. So, let's go! Prepare to set sail. Yes. Let's go. This is gonna be another long boat ride. I can't even remember where Senegal is. <laughs> Probably gonna be a while. So, how have you all been doing? That sounded awkward, but I'm just wondering. <laughs> Personally, I'm doing just great. I just gotta say this having a job and actually getting money. Let's just say my Tails collection has been growing a bit re recently. <laughs> and what the heck was that thing? Oh, I think it was just a title game. Whatever. But yeah, my Tails collection is getting pretty good. I'm actually pretty proud of it. Anyway, welcome back to Dereshid Harbor. Now, I am going the wrong way and for some reason that mouse was following me. <laughs> we, of course, want to go and talk to the king. But before we can do that, we need to get Rudy back. And as we al already learned, she is in the village of Cresta. The problem is, we have never been to Cresta before, so... How are we gonna find it? Well, you got me. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I know where it is, I think. <laughs> now I know. Sorry about that. A little interruptions once again. But uh, on our way to Cresta, I have a little story to tell, and I'm just gonna talk over this battle, I don't really care. <laughs> on my first playthrough, and actually, later playthroughs too, I can for the life of me find a way to Cresta, even though it is actually very simple to go there. But on my first playthrough, I got so lost that I almost stopped playing. The annoying part though was the, f was the fact that I actually followed a guide and the guide said, go left until you see a bridge. I did, and I didn't see the first bridge, so I went back to the, uh, yeah, the town that's down there, which I don't remember the name of. <laughs> anyway, here we got Cresta, right here. No problem whatsoever. Now, I do like the music in this place, but sadly, there's not really much to do. I heard there were so many, there were many homeless orphans in Fitzgold. If they build orphanages like the one here, there will be a lot less children wandering the streets. Yeah, I do remember there being a lot of... Well, people running around. But anyway, there's Rudy. You should watch where you're going or you'll hurt yourself. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, this looks like an orphanage. Oh, uh, when Rudy said she had to protect someone, she meant these children. Uh... Yeah, I know, surprising, right? Philia, do we have to take Rudy with us? I was thinking the same thing. After seeing her like that, it's hard to ask her to come with us. I agree. Stan, what are you saying? Don't you understand how bad her predicament really is? The world may perish if we take any chances. Dimlos, stay out of this. I agree with Stan. Philia, are you too? Do you realize what's at stake if the Eye of Tomini is abused? Well, we see a little bit of it, and... Well, Leiden kinda killed himself, but... I, tw I kinda doubt that that's the full power of the Eye. <laughs> Blah, you, uh, you fools. You better think really hard about this. <laughs> Why can't you understand? Have you forgotten the meaning of happiness? Uh, Stan. And you. What? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we can do it by ourselves. Wait just a minute. Oh. Uh, Rudy! <laughs> I've been listening quietly to you guys, but now don't go making up your minds about what's good for me, okay? Oh, you heard. Yeah, it's not really that hard. First of all, she can hear Dimlos and Clement talking, and you're kind of yelling at your sword. 
I mean, the children is looking weird at, weirdly at you too. <laughs> you must be happy since you two are together. Uh, what? But being left out in the cold is no fun. I, I'm not gonna let that happen. But we didn't mean to. I'm just kidding. At any rate, we traveled together before. You should know better. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but you're living here happily with these children. Yes, leave it to us. Yes, leave it to us. We'll take care of this. That's okay. I don't really belong here anyway. Besides, if there's any anything I can do to protect these kids, I'm up for I'm up for any challenge that comes my way. Wow. Almost looks like Rudy got a became a better person the last what was it? Ten days? <laughs> then Yeah, take me with you, please. Alright. Then, can you wait just a minute? I'll take Ad White out of storage. <laughs> you put Ad White in storage? Really? <laughs> oh, that poor sword. In storage? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> yeah, sounds like our Rudy. Indeed it does, indeed it does. <laughs> in storage, wow. A all-powerful talking sword and shit in storage, wow. Thanks for waiting. Let's go. Let's hurry back to Tarashid. Yes, indeed. Let's. But, uh, you're not gonna see that. I'm gonna meet you guys back in Tarashid, I think, just to save a little bit of time. One step away from Tarashid, and I get a battle. No battles until one step away. <laughs> uh, I gotta love the RPG trolling. <laughs> anyway. If I can just find my way to the castle, that would be nice. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Let's go and talk to the stupid, stupid king. I wonder, can we do this now? I don't think we can, but... No, we can't make them up. Okay. Don't... We're not at high enough level yet. Actually, I believe that's one of the last ones we can get, so... <laughs> it wasn't... It's not really that weird. Anyway, it's time to yell at the king. I'm here, your majesty. And what the hell is going on? Thank you for coming. Please, explain what happened, or else I'm gonna kick your ass! The Eye of Autonomy under our protection was stolen by someone. Someone? You don't know who stole it? It's not, it's not confirmed, but two people have been missing since the theft occurred. Who are they? Hugo and Leon. Wait, what? Hugo and Leon? Wait, what? What? Yeah, th that's what I said. What? No way. I don't believe it. You must be mistaken. Sadly, it's true. If, it doubt if you doubt my words, go ahead and check Hugo's mansion. People at Oberon Corporation are looking for them as well. Hugo and Leon disappeared with the Eye of Tommy and the Draconis. The Draconis too? I mean no disrespect. However, you told us you would secure the Eye of Tommy underground beneath the castle. Well, yes. How will you take responsibility for this blunder? Yes, this was my mistake. I placed too much trust in Hugo. And... I'm willing to take full responsibility for my actions. Oh! Huh, maybe this king isn't as bad as I first thought. Your Majesty. However, we must act, and act fast. I want you to find those two and find the Eye of Autonomy. Yeah, I understand. We don't have... we don't have any choice. I'll do my best. I shall return with good tidings. Hugo and Leon, huh? Nah, I don't think they stole it. I think they just heard that it was missing or something and then run af out after him. And run after them or something. I mean, Leon wouldn't do that, now would he? But he's a party member crying out loud. He wouldn't do that. Anyway, as you see, there are some Oberon Corporation goons running around here trying to find them. I don't think you will be able to find them in his house. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, we want to go to 
not this room, no. <laughs> we want to go to Hugo's uh, office, study, or whatever it is. Ah, and I can't remember where it is. Great, great. I mean, there's not that many rooms in this place, is there? Oh boy. This is painful. <laughs> Very damn painful. <laughs> oh, come on. Why can't I... Why can't my brain not work? Wait. Hey. There we go. Hey, there's a book on the table in the back. I wonder what that could be. Hmm, a book, huh? Yeah, because we will find every answer in the book. Yeah, <sighs> now we go. There's something written on the book. No shit! <laughs> Libra 4. I wonder that I wonder what that means. Someone from the Oberon Corporation might know something about this. Yeah, you might be right. Hmm, Libra 4. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's ask up god damn it. Let's go and ask some of the people that's running around in the house. Uh let's see, those are maids. That's not it then. I didn't see Marion. Huh, maybe she's missing too. I don't know. Anyway, there is one special guy we want to talk to. I think it's this guy. Yes, it is. Because, uh, as you see, everyone else does not have... None of the other Orberon Corporation guys have a beard. This guy do. That's why. That's a pretty good sign that this is guy they want to talk to. <laughs> Libra 4? How do you find out about that code? Do you know what it means? Libra is the code name for our factory that used be on an island north of Cresta. Used to be? It's not there anymore? Uh, yeah, that place been closed for many years. I think no one's there. Some Something sounds fishy. How do we go there? Hmm. There's really no way to go there. We used to be able to go there by ship, but no ships travel that route now. Unless you charter a boat or use the Draconis. It's pretty much impossible. I heard that Draconis was missing too. Hmm. Maybe you should just... Maybe you'll just... How to give up? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Buster. So we need to get a ship, apparently, since the Draconis are go is gone. So let's go back to the king and tell him what we just found out. Might be... Might be something helpful. And by the way, there's also a new treasure in the castle that I'm gonna get afterwards. I kind of forgot. <laughs> I wish to report that we discovered a code at Hugo's mansion that tells about his whereabouts. Yeah, we don't know that, Gar, but... Chances are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? You know where Hugo went? Yes. Although we don't... We haven't confirmed this yet. It appears that he went on... Went to an abandoned factory. It's always an abandoned factory, isn't there? Always. Where is that? It's on an island, north of Cresta. Good work. Use one of my ships to go there. Yes, sire. Okay, that was easy enough. <laughs> now, before going though, there are actually some new treasures in the uh, in the castle now that we probably want to get. We get a miracle gel. Fantastic! We get a holy bottle, always good. A rune bottle, sweet. A life pot, oh come on! Uh, can I maybe throw away a life bottle? Uh, discard? Okay, I only throw. I only throw away one. Thank God. <laughs> and a pine gel. Okay, that was kind of worth it, I guess. And I believe, yes, there's more here too with a blue chest, ooh, take that one first. We get the SW numbers numbers 130-130, yeah! A pretty awesome disc, which is of course a upgraded one from the 100-100, so let's give it to Stan. Sweet, I'll definitely take that. And we get a Iron Knuckle. Sell the copyright! <laughs> yeah, it's actually a weapon for Bruiser, but uh, we don't really have him, so it's kind of useless right now. We get a strong halberd. 
yeah. You would think that is the Saint Halberd, but no, it's the Strong Halberd, and it's not as good as Dimlos right now anyway, so it's kind of pointless. We get a Fen Face, which is a extremely sharp rounded sword. And it's water elemental, just like the one in Tales of Fantasia. Yeah, I remember that one. Let's see, I gotta give it to Rogar actually, because it's quite an upgrade. Remember we actually got that fan we got a uh, question mark sword that turned into a fan face from uh, Oh the guy in the boat. Meyer Meyer or something. The guy you had to fight along the class. Anyway, we get a crossbow, which is another weapon that Gar can use and it looks even better, so let's go. <laughs> the fan face is water elemental though, so that's pretty good I guess. We get a loot. Yeah, a loot. Guess who's Whose weapon that is? Indeed, it's a weapon for Johnny, but he's not with us either, so it's kind of pointless. We get a empty one, thank you for that, and a empty one, and I bet my sweet underwear that is the empty one there too, if that guy can move. Did I just guess, did I just say sweet underwear? It's nothing sweet about these little things, I tell ya. Can you please move, guy? Thank you, let's see, and it is empty. <laughs> Thank you for that game, thank you. But uh, yeah, we now need to go to the... Uh, oh, the uh, the Libra. That's kind of weird name for a abandoned factory, but we need to go to the Libra now and see if maybe Hugo and Leon is actually there. Oh, sorry about that, I had a massive sneeze. Whew. You did not want to hear that. <laughs> uh, what was I say? Oh right, the uh, factory. But before leaving this off, I want to take another trip outside of town. Because there is something pretty... well, I won't say helpful, but... Uh, it's something pretty nice that I want to do before I end this off. If I can find a holy bottle, that would be nice though, because yes, we are indeed leaving the town once again. Let's see. There's my holy bottle, thank you. Not the hunter's bow! Holy bottle. Yay! So, let's go. You know that I am a sucker for cameos. So, how about we have a little uh, cameo meeting, huh? How about it? <laughs> I wonder who it can be. Well, considering this is the second game in the series, it's not really that many people we can choose from now, is there? <laughs> anyway, let's enter this new-ish village. So we want to go to the inn, if there's the inn, there we go. This is a village that I rarely go to, so I very rarely remember it. And we have these two! Well, do these people look familiar to you? Well, they shouldn't, because we haven't really seen these people before. Not these versions, anyway. This is actually... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah! Don't remember him? <laughs> huh. We finally meet, Stan. We've been waiting a long time to meet you. We came here to help you, but first, we want to see if you're worthy of our help. That's why we need to test you to find out. Oh yeah, it's time to fight. Okay, no it's not. Do you want to take our challenge? Yes, I do. Here's an easy question to start things off. Yeah. You will now have to do a quiz. And <laughs> guess what? They're gonna ask you 50 questions. I should probably have done this in a separate video, but I'm just gonna do it right now before we go to the factory. All right, let's go. Can you guess our names? Here's one hint. There's only one R in each of our names. No, it's not. Don't go with the English version, no. Um. <laughs> well, at least now you know who these people are. <laughs> yeah, it's Cress and Archie. Sorry, Cress. Yes, my name is Cress Albate. <laughs> I know I shouldn't make a big deal out of the Alanar Cress and Cress thing, but I don't like Cress. I'm sorry. I prefer Cress. And my name is Archie Klein. You doesn't. You really don't look like her, but yeah, it's definitely her. Yeah, these are the uh, Super Famicom sprites. Here's the deal. I'm gonna ask you 50 questions. You must choose the correct answer 
out of the four that is given to you. You have four seconds to answer it. If you don't answer in four seconds, an answer is selected automatically for you. So be careful. Uh, you can stop the quiz at any time. Just press, press the X button if you want to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've been pressing the X button a lot in this quiz because I don't know better, apparently. Anyway, let's go. If you pass our quiz, we'll help you. Question 1. Something simple to start. What is Dumblos? Let's see, he is a rapier. No, he is a swordian. Okay, question 2. This is an item-related question. How much HP does a green gel restore? That would be... TP. That would be 30%. Name the artist who designed the characters in Tales of Destiny. That is... Inomara. Very easy, up till now. <laughs> what is the name of our hero in Namco's Tower of Turaga? That would be Gilgamesh or... Uh, Gil, sorry. <laughs> Batista. Bint. <laughs> oh boy. A medical herb that increases agility by two. What is the name? That is a Red Bellbane. What is the name of the player ship in Namco's classic shoot 'em up? Sivius. Ooh, I like that game. Let's see. There we go. Question 7. A projectile created by air pressure from a sword swing. What's the name of this special skill? Rocket sword, missile sword, laser sword. That would be great. Sorcerer's ring. <laughs> missile sword. Question 8. Where was the Eye of Domini kept before it was first stolen? That would be the stray last temple in <laughs> the Tower of Turaga. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Anyway, one of these games is not a driving game by Namco. Mario Kart! No? no. It's gapless, by the way. <laughs> would be, Mar Mario Kart would be a good answer, though. What is the name of the ship where Dimlos was first found? Really? Claudius. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, just forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Question 11. This spell causes columns of lava to erupt around the enemy. What is its name? Flat tornado, eruption, firestorm, that is eruption. What is the name of the item that enables you to use special attacks by command strings on the controller? That is the combo command. <laughs> Jet boots. <laughs> the cat side? What? One of the following is the name of an equipment shop in Janos. Which one is it? Uh, let's see, it is borderline, I believe. Yes! Oh, good, good. There is a shop called Fantasia in a different town, I believe. Anyway, question 14. This special skill damaged the enemy with a deadly sonic blast of notes. What is its name? Uh, John Oath. Uh, Samba. It's the only one we got, <laughs> so... No, it's not. Anyway, 15. What is Atway's elemental attribute? It is ice, or, well, it's water and ice, but no one. Question 16. What is the name of the item you use to change a swordian's capabilities? Lens disc, lens, <laughs> or a disc. Question 17. What battle command will make your party members only defend or heal themselves? That would be their mine. Question 18. Wow, this is going slower than I thought it would. How many TP are used for the spell Firewall? Uh, blah, 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 33. Yahoo! <laughs> where does Lilith where does live? Uh. Oh, close one! <laughs> I almost thought it was the first one there. Anyway, when you use a rune bottle on a moon crystal, what item does it change to? Uh, yeah, right, right. That is a... Black Onyx. Almost said Emerald Reef <laughs> by mistake there. <laughs> that would not be cool. What is the name of the frozen dessert you can get in Noonstadt? Oh, crap. Uh, that is the... Uh, Soft Degree. Whew, <laughs> almost. Oh yeah, what question number... Oh yeah, what question number are we on right now, anyway? We are on 22. Yeah. Question 23. What is the last name of the character Heihachi from the Tekken series? That would be Mishima. Be 
be cool to have him in your party again. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> I like it, Archie. How much DP does a pine gel restore? That is... Uh, 60%. <laughs> Almost messed up that up. Anyway, question 25. Halfway there. In Jurassic Castle, what order must you go through the 12 doors? Oh, this one. That is the Zodiac Order. A lot of people have problems with that for some reason. Don't really get that. What is an inside of a monster? It's evil! <laughs> Let's, of course. 27. Where is the first save point in Tales of Destiny? Uh, that's Elba's cabin, right? Oh, thank god. I just scanned the whole Draconis now with my head just... Uh, save point, save point, save point. No, nothing. <laughs> Whew. In what city does the ar is the arena located? That is Neuenstadt. Sorry, <laughs> I just had to. Where can you get Fitz fries? Gee, I wonder. Fast food SP burger, I think it's called. Thank you. What is the name of the item that's given to Walt? Oh, that's the cane. Uh, the old cane. Question 31. Okay, we're getting close. 20 left. Which Sordian is a female? Is that white? Chaltier, yeah, you could wonder a little bit there, I think. <laughs> 20 through, through 2. Where is the statue of Pyron located? Oh, what, what's that name again? Oh, she didn't stop. <laughs> Pyrod, the sun god, just sh sh assembly lab. 33. What does the elixir item do? Save your ass, that's what it's doing. Restore HP and TP completely. <laughs> Sanity? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that would be nice too, I guess. What was Alba famous for? Uh, archery. <laughs> Duh. Archery skills. Well, like. Question 35. In Janos, someone lost a very important item. What was it? Passport. Yeah. Dimbos wanted to steal it, but no. What does the Orban Corporation do? Produce, produ uh, produce products based on plants, of course. Charity work. I uh, produce softy creeps. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. Which enemy below is from Namco's arcade classic, the Dig Dog? Haven't really played Dig Dog, but okay. Uh, Figar, I think. <laughs> Come on, no. <laughs> what year was Tales of Destiny originally released in Japan? <sighs> yeah, okay, good. I was, uh, I wasn't really sure if it was '97 or not. Whew, okay, eleven more. Come on. One of these spells named is not in Tales of Destiny. Which one is it? Uh, search Lens. It's Search Gold, but not Search Lens. <laughs> search Lens would be nice too, though, I think. Okay, what is the name of this village? Uh, <laughs> uh, Armand. Armida. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Armida. <laughs> okay, ten more. Come on. What is the slash attack value for a long sword, really? Low. It's a long sword for crying out loud. Uh, it's 15, I think. Oh, yes. There's an item called Ras. Rasse. Ra ra what is it? That is actually a fish. That I remember. That one I remember, thank God. What is Hugo's last name? Remember, he's the president of the Orberon Corporation. Uh, it w was Gilchrist. What? Oh no! <laughs> I got tricked by the the typo, didn't I? It was Gilchrist, though. But oh well. Hopefully, it's still gonna be okay. Wow, failing at number forty-three. That's that's painful. <sighs> anyway, what year was Namco's arcade classic Pac-Man released? That was nineteen eighty. Very easy to remember because it is ten years older than me. <sighs> Chelsea has a habit of saying thing, saying this word. What is it? 
Kabooey, fooey, yeah, yeah, it's fooey. <laughs> Love that one. What is Eileen's job? Uh, she is the branch manager. Yes. Senegal is not the only country where you can find a Straylice temple. Name the other country. Uh, that was Calcolis. That was the one we snuck into, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Where do you first meet Leon? Uh, that's in Harman's Wanneke Garasis, yeah. Which Saurian does Fila normally use? Dude, really? Yeah, it's Ignatos, yeah. Clement! Great, you made it this far. This is the last question. What is the name of the war? Ay, ay, ay. That Fantasia war, that would be awesome, but now it's the either wars. This is the end of my questions. Your results are... You got 49 out of 50 questions. Great! I knew you were the one. Okay, apparently it is good enough. <laughs> well, I'm going to help you, just like I promised. Sadly, he will not join your party. He will instead give you a sacred skill. You will get Throw Sword, or Hellpire, later in the series, or... <clears throat> Gorenken, if you want to be Japanese about it. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be victorious, Dan. Thank you, Kles. I mean, <clears throat> Kress. Oh boy, oh boy. I failed one question. Well, it's better than I thought I would do, to be quite honest. <laughs> if you get a perfect score, you will not only get Throw Sword, but you will also get a channeling. And if you really want more channelings, you can go and do the quiz again, but I really don't need more channelings now, so I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> Whew, that took a little longer than I wanted to, but yeah. With that, I'm gonna end the episode off here. So next time, we are going to the Abandoned Factory, where hopefully we are gonna find Leon and Hugo. Evil or not. <laughs> So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.